Hey, hey, it's Michael. Welcome to another tutorial. And this time I will show you how to utilize conditions. So by the end of this training, you will be able to set a custom field value, set the condition, and you will be ready to test it. And well, this is actually like a continuation of my previous lesson. And of course, you're going to find a description about the validator in the description. So very quick recap, if you haven't actually watched this in if we're talking about Jira and workflows, we've got those two, like a basically um, validators, well, two validators, actually the two very important part of the work, which is validator and conditions when you can set specific variable into, for example, custom fields or maybe a system fields. And the difference between validator and condition is that the validator has been designed to work with screens. So that's mean you can check on the fly the parameter and you can actually set it up. So for example, if you require mandatory field, condition works in a very different way. So it is not will be not possible to set it up during the transition process. Yeah, it needs to be set from the ticket. And yes, I am going to show you how to do it. Hopefully this lesson is not going to be too long. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Right. So we are in our gear again. And well, I need to actually make little changes. So uh, for just the presentation purpose, because I've been doing this uh, before, I need, first of all, this time, remove my validator. So again, I'm going to open my project, how to do it, and go to the to, to any project. By the way, this is not just a Scrum and Kanban. I don't think it's going to work for next gen. However, if you're using like a classic version, there's even no Scrum board, it's still going to be working fine because it's a part of the workflow. So, so type of the project doesn't matter unless it is not a uh, next gen. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe it works in next. You need to check that. Anyway, what we need to do na navigate to the project settings. Let's go into workflows and now edit workflow. And I'm going to use diagram. And again, you know, I will care about my transition, which is done. However, yes, if you're planning to do it, maybe in what whatever state you want, feel free. But for the presentation purpose, we only focus on done. So again, I am going to this time remove completely the validator because I don't need it okay, again. That is just for the presentation. And I'm going to now navigate to conditions. I'm going to add condition. And again, you know, feel free because this is actually only my example. There is way much more. There's permission conditions. Maybe we can actually have some, another lesson when I will talk about permissions. I'm going to actually explain because if we're talking about the permissions in Jira, there are like two levels. There is a project permission. There's also permission based on the workflow. So for example, you could like very, very actually the um, real life example, maybe the resolve tickets only uh, let's say Scrum Master can do it, or maybe some managers. Yeah, I cannot do it actually in Magira because I do not have groups and roles because I'm using free version. But yeah, yeah, that, that lesson is also coming. But again, we are only going to check the field value this time. So please feel free about this. But we're going to go for field value. Yeah. And we need uh, to find a field. So I am going to go for department. Uh, if I can only check. And department must be equal yeah, to def. Okay, great. So let's add this. And this is nothing to do with, 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 with screens. So we don't really care about screens. Okay, let's publish it. And now I need to, you can actually leave this tab open. I'm going to go back to my first tab. Where is the project? Again, I'm using the SSP. Please make sure the project is correct. And as you can see, because I've been rehearsing this, I am going to delete that def. OK, so in this department, I'm going to put maybe ABC. OK, ABC or blank doesn't really matter. So let's close this. Let's refresh and let's see if that works. So look at this. What's happened? You cannot move the ticket to done. Why? Because there is something which is blocking us. Yeah. And that's mean it's actually work absolutely fine. So now if I'm going to change 
my department to dev and close this suddenly yeah we can do it so now i really hope you understand what is the difference between validator and condition. Of course, no, this is just one example. Let's see what else we've got if we navigate back to done. And you can also hide it from the user. If we're not gonna go, of course, from the, from. The, but like, if I'm gonna give you my real life examples, most of the time I will be using permission, well, permission, condition based on a group, maybe on a role, or exactly that field value. And yes, if you have, for example, a script runner, it is possible to add even more advanced stuff. For example, you can add a condition based on the JQL, which obviously if without the script runner is not possible to do it. But I can promise you if you in the, in the next if probably two more weeks or three more weeks, the script runner real life examples are coming soon to the channel. All right, so that is gonna be almost all. And just to let you know, if you really like my work and would like to have a help or maybe you require a consultation, let me know because I have a link in the description so you can click it and of course see more details. So that's it for today. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave the like, and I'm going to see you next time when we're going to talk about fields configuration.